I'm excited to walk you through a change detection workflow in ArcGIS Pro using imagery from the Earth Cache add-in. So the scenario that we're looking at here is that we're an electric distribution company and we want to look at the rate of urbanization along, alongside our transmission line corridor so that we can do capacity planning. And it's really easy to do it. All it takes is three steps. The first is to acquire good high resolution satellite imagery through the Earth Cache um, add-in for ArcGIS Pro. Once you've got at least two sets of imagery, you can take that imagery and jump into step two, which is performing land cover classification on each of those imageries. And once you've done that, you jump into step three, which is performing change detection between your two sets of land cover classification rasters. Let's get into it. So for that first step, we've got an asset uh, layer information. This is transmission line information from BC Hydro. We're looking at a section of British Columbia right now. And you can take that asset, you can perform some buffering around that asset and using the Earth Cache add-in, you can search the archives or order satellite imagery using that buffer area. I can select a from date, a to date, a specific resolution of satellite imagery, and I can search the archives or again, I can, I can task a satellite to go and capture that information for me. So if you're looking at free Sentinel-2 imagery, which is pretty low resolution, that's perfectly fine for working out your, your workflow. But once you move into more of a production instance and you want higher quality data, you'd be looking at, um, at acquiring more higher resolution uh, satellite information to begin with. Okay, so once we've got our satellite imagery, what we can do is jump over to step two. So what I've done is I'll just go ahead and highlight the satellite imagery that I have right here. I've got something from 2018 and I've got something from 2023, so that's a five year span. And what I'll do is I'll select this uh, imagery right here, jump over to my uh, imagery tab and use the classification wizard it's okay, we'll just start a new classification wizard to perform that, that classification. And here are the settings that I like to use. So I use a supervised classification method. I like to do an object-based classification. For the schema, I want to use the default schema that they have. And let me just move my face out of the way here, hit next. Um, keep these settings as, as normal. What it'll do is it'll run some basic segmentation previews for you. You can go ahead and, um, and just uh, delete that preview. And then you'll need to grab some training samples. So we only care about the types of, of, uh, of segmentation here that, that are important for our particular use case. So you can go ahead and select water, for example, and one of the tools and, and, and grab the, the, the sections of your imagery that relate to water. But most importantly, we want to make sure that we've got a certain number of samples here for our developed areas. Um, and some, a certain number of samples for our forested areas, and of course you can zoom in and out of the image as you need, and a certain number of samples for our uh, cultivated farmland areas. Once you've grabbed a good number of these samples, you can hit next. Um, I like to use the random forest, or sorry, random trees uh, classifier to train my model. And when you run this, you can take a look at what those results would look like. So I've got some classified results over here from 2023, and I've also got some classified results here from 2018. Now we can jump into that third step, which is performing change detection between these two sets of classifications. And that's again, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna select one of my classifications here. I'll hit that change detection button, which opens up the change detection wizard. The settings I like to use are categorical change in the change detection. My from field is my 2018 data. My to field is my 2023 raster data. Let me just go ahead and make sure that that's the 2018 classified. Perfect. Um, you can hit next. Uh, and here, I want to look at the settings that are particularly useful in my case. So I want to look at only forested and planted areas that have been converted into developed areas. And once I'm happy with that, I can jump through the rest of the, the default settings here and my output will look something like this. So if I can go and turn off some of these other layers, we can see these are the areas in yellow where it used to be. And I just open this up. It used to be, for example, planted and cultivated lands that have now been turned into developed lands or forested lands that have now been turned into developed lands. And the output will again will look something like this for our analysis. So what I want you to do is I want you to try this for yourself. I'm going to include the links to, to these things right here as well. So go and create an EarthCache account. Uh, it's free. If you haven't already created one, create one. It's free. Um, and then jump over and download the ArcGIS Pro add-in for EarthCache. Give this a try and, and, uh, and add a comment at the bottom and let me know how you go. Okay? All right. Thanks a lot. See you later.